Okay, welcome to the point of view mini stories for neo Bedouins. So, same story as the mini story, but we're going to change the time frame. We're going to start with in 1968, the year I was born. Okay, here we go. In 1968, there was a hip guy named Andy. Andy was nomadic. He could never stay in one place. He loved to roam from country to country, place to place. But every summer, he always stayed in San Francisco. When he was in the city, his favorite hangout was the venerable Café Trieste. The café used to be the place where San Francisco's famous writers hung out. It was the epicenter of the San Francisco arts movement. One day, Andy emerged from the cafe and he crossed paths with an old friend named Leo. His friend said, I'm leaving San Francisco. I'm striking out on my own to see the world. Andy asked him, where are you going first? Leo said, I'm going to Vietnam. It's a very beautiful place in the summer. Two weeks later, Andy was reading the newspaper and saw a story. The story said that Leo had been killed in Vietnam. It figures, said Andy. Vietnam is a very dangerous and insecure place. What an idiot. <clears throat> Alrighty. So that was in 1968, right? In the past, in the past. Next, let's begin with since 2000. Since the year 2000. Here we go. There's a guy named Andy. Since 2000, Andy has been nomadic. He hasn't been able to stay in one place. He has loved to roam from country to country and place to place. But every summer, he has always stayed in San Francisco. When he's been in the city, his favorite hangout has always been the venerable Café Trieste. The café used to be the place where San Francisco's famous writers hung out. It was the epicenter of the San Francisco arts movement. One day, Andy emerged from the cafe and crossed paths with an old friend named Leo. His friend said, I'm leaving San Francisco. I'm striking out on my own to see the world. Andy asked him, where are you going first? Leo said, I'm going to Iraq. It's very beautiful in the summer. Two weeks later, Andy read the newspaper and saw a story. The story said that Leo had been killed in Iraq. It figures, said Andy. Iraq is a very dangerous place and it's insecure. What an idiot. Okay, great. Next one, let's go to the future. We'll say next year. Okay, here's my little story idea for next year. There'll be a guy named Andy. He'll be a hip guy. Andy'll be nomadic. He'll never be able to stay in one place. He'll love to roam from country to country and place to place. But every summer, he'll always stay in San Francisco. Uh, when he's in the city, his favorite hangout will be the venerable Café Trieste. Now, the café used to be the place where San Francisco's famous writers hung out. It was the epicenter of the San Francisco arts movement. Now, in the future, one day, Andy will emerge from the café and he'll cross paths with an old friend named Leo. His friend will say, I'm leaving San Francisco. I'm striking out on my own to see the world. Andy will ask him, where are you going first? And Leo will say, I'm going to Iraq. It's very beautiful in the summer. Two weeks later, Andy will be reading the newspaper and he'll see a story. The story will say that Leo was killed in Iraq. It figures, Andy will say. Iraq is a very dangerous and insecure place. What an idiot. Okay, that is all of the point of view mini stories for this lesson, Neo-Bedouins. Now, when you listen to point of view lessons, just relax, okay? Don't worry about getting the grammar perfect. 
It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, it takes time. Listen again and again and again to the point of view mini stories. Listen to the first mini story lesson. Listen to all the lessons. Okay, relax. You will start to improve your grammar automatically if you listen carefully. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's okay if you pause and try to tell the story, but you can't remember the grammar exactly. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Just keep listening, 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 listening very carefully. Notice the different sounds. Notice how the verbs change. Notice how the vocabulary changes sometimes. Just notice and listen carefully. Then, if you can, pause after each version. Try to tell the story using the phrase, in 1968. Then tell it again, since 2000. Then tell it again, next year. Don't worry if you make some mistakes. It's okay. Okay? Relax. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.